<laughs> Hello, VOD viewers. We are here for some late night Madness 16 stuff. Um, let's move this down here. Do, do, do. We're going to be doing some Amelia Carey today. It should be fun. Okay, <laughs> so to just take a look at uh, what we're up to, we're going to be using Amelia, and uh, she's going to be our main damage dealer. Um, we've got her dealing um, burn and some cold damage. Um, we'll eventually transform her damage to fully burn, but that'll be later in the run. Um, she's taking all of the damage stuff along with uh, this uh, fortify perk so that uh, fortify increases her burn damage along with that um, we'll be taking um, frost swords to make it so that uh, we can proc eldritch on one cost spells um, which then makes it so that uh, um, one of the better cards in the game um, so the main the main things we want to actually use with that with are these um ember storms is great obviously like probably the best thing we want to hopefully find as many of these as we can um but then also you can use uh um oh it's not actually selected um recurring nightmare is also like one of the best uh, cards that you can use with this setup um later on in the game um and then andrin will be doing a bunch of mark stuff otis a bunch of shields and giving bless and then um Heiner just uh, giving fortify, keeping everyone safe. So that is the plan um, for the nodes that we want. I wanted honest work so that we can um, use that in the hatch along with the elder drift. Um, and outside of that, and anything else is fine. You don't have to have the elder drift. I did take a, do a path um, testing this run. Um, the, that one where we, we went up top, didn't have the Eldritch Path, or uh, the Rift. Uh, we just had Honest Work, and that's that's totally fine. You don't need the, the Rift, but it, it is helpful if you want um, the ideal um, path and whatnot. So um, For pets, I'm going to grab Orby on Otis. Um, Andrin, I'm going to grab him as Modi. Um, and then Amelia, we're going to grab Daily. Um, eventually, if I, depending on how much gold we have, um, we would like to maybe upgrade, uh, to Rifty, uh, but that's sort of just up in the air. I mean, that's way, way down the line. Um, uh, so for the decks, uh, for Heiner, we're just grabbing, uh, Helping Hands along with a Barricade and some Repair Armors. Otis, we are... Doing this setup where we, we have all of the heal perks along with um, his uh, shield perks. And so the heals and barriers are quite good early on. Um, you just get to heal up um, people for quite a lot with those and sort of keep everyone steady. Um, usually with Heiner and Otis together, you're giving out enough shields and block that like it's not... It's like pretty easy to keep in general everyone up, but sometimes like somebody gets targeted down, gets hit a bunch, and having these um, upgraded barriers and the heals really allow you to then heal up whoever is is taking the big hits. So let's grab that. Um, one of the nice things about um, oh, is this what I used? Yeah. 
Um, one of the nice things about Amelia is that uh, you honestly don't need to spend that much on her deck. I think she, she starts with quite a good deck in general, and so um, you don't need to spend all that much. Now, we are spending a little bit of extra on, like, li Living Flame and whatnot, but uh, that is... Uh, that's fine. Um, you can spend less. Like, you could just not add this Living Flame. You could add another two-cost spell. Keep one of the Nightmares in the deck. Even that's fine. Um, but I think the Living Flame is, is pretty pretty decent. So, um, For Andrin, we have this setup. Now, I don't even think this is, like, 100% correct. This is just an old one that I had. Um, like, I don't know that I would bring this Song of Celerity right now. Um... But I don't really want to go back and uh, change things, so I'm just going to use this. But this Song of Slarity could be something else. You probably don't need that. Um, and that's the setup for the start of the run. So let's uh, let's get going. And then, yeah, we're going to be coming up to Honest Work, going into the hatch, and then Elder Drift. And then we might come bottom. Bottom path is probably a little bit better. Um, so let's, uh, do that. We can see what we missed out on. Nothing super important. We do have a Sheep Shearer and a Jasper, which is a scary combination. Um. So, not, not my favorite thing to run into early, but... What can you do? Um, I might get rid of Elder's Discharge. I, d I don't really enjoy having Elder's Discharge in the opening hand, so I think I'd rather find something else. Um, and then here we can maybe kick out some guards. Yeah, let's get those out of there, and then I can trace uh, on Otis also. Having a benediction early is pretty good, and then I guess a, I guess a dispel magic is maybe fine. We'll we'll keep it there just in case. Like there's just a bunch of bleed on Heiner by the time it gets to his turn. Since we are taunting, I think just giving all the block to Heiner seems good. <laughs> Evening, Rockjar. Hope you're having a good night. Okay. Um, and with these, I think I do like taking down the Sheep Shear ASAP. Um, Jasper's kind of scary, though. Jasper exploding for his health total means you do usually want to pour damage into him, but. I think I will prayer protection over the dispel magic. <laughs> okay, so one nice thing about this setup with Amelia is you are able to slow people a fair amount, which means that uh, your turn twos, you can often get Amelia faster than them with uh, Andrin. So, that is uh, quite nice. Okay. So, um, I guess we will take out the boar so that it doesn't get a turn and then throw the second one at Jasper. <laughs> oh, did the beta server start up? I have not signed up. Um, interesting. Let me look on the wiki, or on the Discord. <laughs> Have they announced a uh, timing and stuff for it, GA? 
Aaron, hello, hello. I'm doing great. Hopefully you're doing, having a good night. There's a form in the announcements channel. Oh. That's cool. Oh my gosh, we are blessed. Look at this reward. Holy crap. Um, you think the AI cheats? <laughs> that is uh, definitely a possibility. Uh, they they know what your weaknesses are, and they're coming for you. Um, uh, finding a prayer protection is like the best card you can get on Otis. It's so good on him. Um, Ember Storm is the like main card we want. If we could get like five of these. <laughs> I would uh, probably take them all. So, pretty sick there. And then, probably don't need another repair armor. Um, oh, let me check something really quick. Uh, one second. <laughs> Uh, Plugging something in really quick. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, some of the enemies are pretty brutal in their attacks and whatnot, so they definitely sometimes have better cards than us. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> Get me back one second. Okay, I am back. Let's see. We have our webcam here. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, whoops. No, that should be locked. Let's move this like over here. Um, some good cards, you ask, Aaron. Um, good cards. Uh, there's a lot of good cards. Um, anything that's, like, I think, like, the barric barricade and, um, like, uh, all things that hit everyone are often going to be quite good. Um, pair of protections and things like that. Cheap cards, I find, to be fairly good in general. Like, uh, zero-cost cards are going to be quite effective um it's sort of the initial stuff that i would that i would say um if you want like really powerful cards in the early game there's some like sort of more expensive stuff that i think will help you with your your fights and whatnot um but uh but yeah that's sort of where i would go if there's a specific character that you want to know some more information about then let me know i might be able to help you out with that Um, GA also, um, do you want to finish up? Oh, Uproot, yeah. <laughs> Uproot is, a, is a sick card. Uh, a scout one. It gives, uh, a ton of benefit. 
Again, another all monsters uh, card uh, if you upgrade it. Um, yeah, well, uh, let me know when you want to finish the run, GA. I'm I'm down to uh, down to clown whenever you uh, are are ready. Um. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. I guess I'll have Heiner go quick here. That hand actually looks great. I'm gonna keep that, I think, and then we'll we'll trace Heiner to. <laughs> yeah, I uh, am down to. Uh, if you wanted to, we could we could finish it up tonight or tomorrow. Um, if you have time. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so some enemies, uh, um, some some things that uh, I think really does help um, is uh, having perks um, that really amp up your damage. Um, having like scaling damage in some way. So like bless. If you stack up bless on one of your characters, um, and would be a, a nice way of doing it. Um, uh, that that can give you a bunch of damage, and you can sometimes kill enemies before they are able to like get all their stuff in effect. So, um. oh, I should have unstable powered first. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, tonight would be perfect. Um. Do you want to do it on stream, or do you want to just uh, wait until I finish out this run? Uh, it would be quite late at that point. Um, what do you What are you feeling? <laughs> Heiner getting slapped here as he's taunting. Oof. Quite a lot of damage. We did give them a bunch of powerful, so it makes sense that he's taking a bunch. Okay. <laughs> so much burn. <laughs> um, I am down for either. Um, so if that works better for you, then I'm I'm, I'm totally down for that. Um. How much energy does he Otis have? I guess this is fine. I guess I could get rid of the heal. Maybe I get rid of benediction, benediction and clarity. Actually. <laughs> oh wait, isn't am I gonna be here? Oh, I'm not gonna be at home next weekend. <laughs> Um, I'm taking a trip out to visit, uh, visit family next week. Um, I like Heiner a lot as a, a tank. Um, I think he fares quite well, um, as, uh, your frontline character. He is super tanky. If you look at his character sheet, his uh, resists are very high. So um, I think he, he he works well. 
He also like starts off everyone with a bunch of uh, block, and uh, that helps too. So, um, I think he is quite good. He also has one of the best uh, enchantment cards in the game. Um, Steel Forge is pretty great. Uh, which you'll see in this run, um, that uh, we get to use and abuse Steel Forge quite well. Uh, let's jump on here. Hey, Christy Lace, thank you for subscribing uh, once again. Is that uh, four? I can't actually read this. Uh, thank you so much. Four months in a row. Awesome, awesome. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we're going to capture one of the pigs uh, with the rope. <laughs> Hope you're having a good night, Christy. <laughs> Amelia is such a boss. Very fun character. Um, I guess... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. I, do I want a living flame or I think just another frost nova is fine? <laughs> Um, Aaron, I think if, if you're starting, I do think, um, that, uh, Heiner is probably the most forgiving tank to use. I think he provides a lot of benefit, um, with, uh, how he's set up. What I usually do is have a perk set up something like this, where you have all of your block perks along with, like, the fortify. Um, and then it just makes all of his uh, blocking uh, quite, like, it just, it, it all works out very well and uh, is uh, very forgiving for setting up. Um, so, I think he's a, he's a very good choice. Okay, quick kill here. Only two enemies in that fight, so works out quite well for us. Um, I will take a setup. Setup is just a good one. Um, don't think Otis needs any of those. Um, we're going to be coming this bottom way for the bottomless pit. Uh, I don't think we need a shop or a heal, so we'll just skip that. <laughs> get a broken bone out of the way and then let's take a look at Amelia's deck uh, sure we can get rid of my slances those are usually a little bit better once we have been able to stack up our um, when we've been able to stack up a bit of whatever this is uh, Spell sword. <laughs> oh, it is. Getting slapped around. Um. Okay, I think. Um. Let's see if we can deal some good damage to the living rock. Uh, 
Um, and then just giving more draw to Amelia will help her end the fight early. If we, like, uh, get to Life Tap, Frost Nova, Emberstorm, Eldritch Discharge, then uh, I think we will be in a very good spot. <laughs> okay, um... Let's uh, speed up Amelia, so we get to have her go before all of the enemies. She can probably kill at least uh, a couple of them. Um, let's start off here. And there we go. Hey, Erica Faye. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you're doing well tonight. Very sleepy Pikachu at, uh, emote. Love it. <laughs> okay, we get to mostly take care of this guy, and uh, daily we'll do the final blow. All kinds of comfy, nice. Ooh, we got another gift here, Anthem of Hope. Um, we will be going for Paladin Gauntlets on... Um, Otis, and uh, if you have watched my streams before, you know what that item is, but uh, if you haven't, um, um, I think it's one of the best ways of uh, applying Bless in the game. Whenever you apply Courage, you apply Bless. It's much easier to apply Courage than Bless, and so this transaction here is very good. Um, this then applies Bless to your whole team, and then this version even gives your whole team draw. It's just an incredible card, so. Um, we'll be taking that and probably take as many of those as we're offered. Um, we're going to throw this pigment <laughs> into the pit. Look away if you're squeamish. <laughs> we get these dark miasmas in the deck, though, um, and uh, these are great. Uh, when you draw it, you get an extra energy and some powerful. You do suffer some darkness, but we'll, we'll corrupt our souls a little bit for energy. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, we're, we're through that part of the run. We're the good guys. Remember, we're the good guys. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty, I think, a, a fair transaction. Um I will keep this repair armor. These guys do a lot of physical damage to the front liner, so getting a repair armor on Heiner will be helpful. And I guess I can get rid of an intercept too. Um, as I've said before, I don't really like Elders discharging super early. <laughs> Definitely the good guys. I think if you've seen anything in Obelisk, we never do anything wrong. Um, I guess, yeah, we'll do AoE instead of just the Fortify. The Fortify, though, like, one of the reasons I'm doing the Fortify, and one of the reasons why um, Heiner is so good in this comp, um, is he's applying a bunch of uh, Fortify to Amelia, which then increases the damage of our Ember Storms. And uh, is uh, quite helpful. And it'll eventually increase all of our damage because we're going to transform the damage types down the line. So. <laughs> okay. Okay, so detections are nice. We get to apply quite a lot of... Uh... Oh, I think we, we don't need the, the flame here. Ooh, yeah, it's funny. There are a number of times where it's like I've had runs where... I finally get past or, like, defeat a really hard boss or enemy, and uh, 
the very next fight is then a hallway fight that like kills me instantly so <laughs> uh bosses can be tough but i think there's there's some things as you play and learn that uh sort of uh will help you out um in learning which or how to like tackle different uh um bosses along the way i think uh one thing about obelisk is that like there's so much to learn and uh you can improve a ton just by playing the game and like experiencing Especially with like obli or um, adventure mode, um, there is quite a lot you can learn and you can improve a lot just by sort of knowing the fights and knowing the different nodes and items that you can get along the way. Um, okay. Um, the reason I'm not like targeting these guys down is they do summon imps, and so if they if one of them dies before everyone else, then they will summon an imp, which is like not our favorite thing. We, I guess he's gonna die anyway, so there's no use spending our energy on him. Okay, so he died. Summoned an imp. Um, that's fine though. Um, the imps aren't like super dangerous so. <laughs> okay more detections will help us finish out this fight I'll, honestly a lot of the damage in this run comes from um uh, Andrin just having a ton of mark early on. And uh, I think that uh, just bringing Andrin along is a fairly effective way of, like, sort of getting your team over, like, getting your team to have enough damage for the early game fights. Mm hmm. <laughs> I will take a helping hand. That one's sweet. Okay, so he is weakened. So we will now fight Belfour. When I first started playing the game, I thought Belfour was just incredibly difficult to, to, to fight. Um, he definitely uh, killed me quite a few times early on. <laughs> I guess we'll get rid of this. We don't actually need it. Oh, oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. I was intentionally not playing that so that Amelia would go um, after he summoned. Uh, I then forgot that I, the reason why after I uh, got past the initial setup. Um, so we do have five draw on Amelia, so she's going to draw the full ten cards. Um, quite good for us. Um, I guess we are not going to Ember Storm here. Doesn't really make sense. Um, basically does no damage. So, um, one of the, Belfour has like incredibly high fire resist, so... Okay. Um, we have quite a lot of mark here on Belfour, which is nice. Um, and... I mean, I guess we're casting everything here. Um... Interesting. Uh, I was just seeing here, like what, how likely I think it is that Amelia is gonna go before the volatile imp, but. Uh, 
Um, at the moment, this Anthem of Hope is not really doing much, but... Uh, um, I have not played Bellatro yet. Um, I, I should. I've heard from a lot of people that it is super fun. So uh, um, I do uh, plan on, on picking it up at some point. Um, but I've, I've yet to, to try it out yet. How do you like it, uh, Erica? Hmm. It's definitely comfy. Nice, nice. Um, I always enjoy finding uh, games that just uh, I can just like sink into, <laughs> right? Um, oh, another Ember Storm is so good. Very excited about that. Um, delay response is also quite good. Um, I'm not sure. Hmm, I think I'll skip it. I'm not. I'm not quite sure about it yet um hmm. so in the, my last run i tried or i played an arcane reflex um is warlock any good uh which warlock are you talking about zek um or like maluka i think all the characters in this game are quite good like i think you can win with basically anyone um and uh, I think Zek is actually quite strong. I think that I love dark builds. I think they're super fun. So um, I do think that they are a lot of fun. They may not be like, I don't think they're like the top tier. Um, yeah, Zek. <laughs> um, when I did play World of Warcraft now, like 10, how long ago was this? 10. It was during Frozen Throne, um, like uh, the end of Burning Crusade, Frozen Throne, and uh, uh, on and off after that over the years, but not not quite as much as Frozen Throne. I did play Warlock, and then I and then I was a Druid after that. Oh, Druid was so fun! I was a Moonkin, and then one of the raids after that, I think, it was like. In I came back a little bit during Pandaria and raided a bunch as a cat druid, and that was fun. Um, I don't think Arcane Reflex is all that good, but I think it's fine. I guess I'll take it. Oh, Belfort's Pipe, a round shield. Played Resto and never having to stop cast. Dude, I, there was a time, there was like one raid... Um, where my, my guild didn't have enough heal, healers, and so I played Resto Druid. And I <laughs> just started, just remember clicking Rejuve on every member of the raid just over and over again. <laughs> and uh, that, that was a good time. Um, okay. I'll take a Reinforced Armor here. I'll take a Round Shield. Round Shield's great on Otis. It's uh, one of the better cards you can have um oh yeah i was wondering what the big one was life bloom yeah or was that healing yeah yeah man spam the rejuves um okay yeah let's elder trift Regrowth, yeah, that's yeah, that's the other one. Um, oh yeah, I remember like <laughs> I don't know that I ever tranquility was so rare for me to ever like think about casting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see if we can't find a bless uh, benediction for Otis. That'd be great. But honestly, like, I was not a good healer. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm doing this because uh, we don't have another option. <laughs> so, uh... 
I was uh, I was all I was always a, a DPS at heart. I just wanted to see the big numbers. So, uh, okay, let's let's target this guy down a little bit. I don't know that. Just a little bit. I think getting a. I don't want to spend too much damage on him, but. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so, I don't... Do I want to... I think I will use this here. Get rid of that one, and then... I guess that is four energy, which is how much we'll have. So I actually think that the rest of that is fine. <laughs> Let's actually have Otis go first here. I think uh, that will be helpful if he gets to benediction then uh, Amelia will deal quite a bit more damage so definitely seems worth it <laughs> okay I think... I think just doing these make the most sense. It's kind of annoying. This guy... I guess Andrin can maybe speed boost Amelia. Nice. We caught the amnesia there. Ooh, that's actually brutal. Now he's gonna summon two guys. Um, if if uh, this if the ad had uh, targeted anyone else, the like couple of uh, chill there made it so that uh, we weren't able to kill him before he summoned. Unfortunate for us, but uh, we were able to take him out. And these guys are quite low, so I think. You're mostly okay, but... <laughs> I guess uh, none of this really matters, because we don't have any Fortify, because they purged us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll keep the detection. Oof, Otis. Getting slapped. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, these two are a little scary, but... Okay, getting rid of the insane is nice. The damage reduction there can make a, a big deal. And some hunter's marks... I guess I'll keep one of those. Okay, so they have their health this turn. Okay, so we have plenty of time to kill them. 
<laughs> Heiner just dealing a ton of damage here because of the mark. Um, we don't have any ability for Otis to deal damage, so I'll just end the fight there. Uh, save it for later is an interesting one. There's a scavenge and a find weakness. I think I will take the find weakness. I like that card. Um, and then, yeah, define power is pretty legit. That card is just very good. <laughs> okay, now the rest of everyone else leveled up. We get a Steel Forge on Heiner, Unwavering Faith on Otis, and then Wild Hunt on Andrin. Okay, um... Hmm... So I think we take a uh, hard amulet on Otis, and then I think Eldritch Wand here on Amelia. Eldritch Cloak is also quite good. I don't know which is better. Um. Probably the wand. Uh, I don't know. The powerful is nice. It is um, three powerful when you use it, which is then 30% damage on each turn. So I actually think I will take the, the cloak. And I'll take a fishing rod on Andrin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think... Yeah, timepiece already being around. Um, it gives us a little bit of extra damage. And uh, so I think that, that makes sense. Yeah, we will come down this bottom way. And then take these two. Uh, I don't think Amelia needs a meteorite. So let's, uh, let's do this. And, okay, start off with a wild hunt. Um, let's make sure we get some mark on the cutthroat so that he can't disappear. Um, I guess we'll leave it like that and then do another one. I'll get rid of an ember storm. Hey, Warm003. Yeah, glad to have you here. Um, glad that you enjoy the YouTube content. Um, I do need to start uploading videos again. It's been it's been like a month since my last one. So <laughs> I have been streaming, but uh, yeah. Do you have a favorite uh, comp I've played, or uh, just favorite uh, comp? Oh, I should have I should be unstable powering first for sure. Um, or just a, a character that you love, um, like to play, Warm? <laughs> oh, I just realized, is this, like, super crooked? Oh no, it's this one that's super crooked. Oh, I'll have to fix that later. Ooh, you love the no attack build? Oh, I okay, I do need to uh, upload, because I won with that build. And I recorded me, I recorded uh, the win, but I haven't uh, uploaded it yet. So I do need to actually do that. Um, that build is sweet though. Uh, Shout out to Trash Comps for uh, inspiring it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think uh, Madness is, like, I played uh, a fair amount of the game with friends and then um, sort of was like, okay, well, this is fun, but the, like, it got to the point where it just, like, wasn't that hard of a game. It like, wasn't enough of a challenge, and so kind of stopped playing at that point for a while, um, and then a friend of mine popped in and was like, oh, did you know that there's these madness levels? And I was like, oh, my gosh. And so we started uh, climbing the madness levels, and uh, the rest is history. And I've been playing for, <laughs> like, two more years since that uh, initial point. So... <laughs> okay, let's speed up Otis and use some of these. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice, nice. Um, the, uh... Tempest Sylvie will definitely do it. <laughs> that, uh, that comp is quite strong. Um... Ooh, uh... I guess they will take another... Well, actually, I don't know if I want this. No, I already have a, a divine power in his deck. I don't think we need another benediction. <laughs> but yeah, I think like there's a there's a ton of uh, sort of little things that you can do um, to set up and uh, play. Dude, that is a fun build. I do wish that there was, like... I do need to come up with a... A better way to deal with uh, Sanctify Immune Enemies, like this guy here. Um, for that comp. Because uh, that, that time we walked in and uh, uh, just died to a high Holy Resist uh, Sanctify Immune Enemy. And that was kind of brutal. Um, so, I'll maybe, I'll, maybe, I'll maybe take another look at that. But... Uh, it is a that that comp is, is fun. Um, yeah, this is fine. I mean, we'll take a look at a, at a shop. I don't know if we'll we'll take anything, but it's probably fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna run and grab some water. I don't have any right now, so I will be right back. And uh, yeah, see you in a sec.
Okay. Hey, we are back when we have a a Toby with us. <laughs> Hi, Toby. <laughs> um, okay. Let's get into this one. Wow, it's been a while since I've had a double uh, dryad fight like this. <laughs> I guess we'll leave those. It's a Toby! Hi, pup, yeah. Ha! <laughs> uh, G8, now you, now you know why I just don't edit videos. <laughs> I'm just like, here is the full five hour run. <laughs> I edit the beginning and then and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, he's a cutie. <laughs> Here, I'll get a, a slightly better. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, there we go, Toby. <laughs> yeah, he's a good pupper. <laughs> You've done two, yeah. It's a uh, oh, whoops. That's about that's about my limit of uh, <laughs> what I end up wanting to do. I'm like I've edited the first like 20 minutes of this. Are we good? <laughs> Is that all you need? <laughs> oh, Yanni pup, yeah. Okay, let's uh, speed up Amelia. We can get her going a bit quicker than at least one of the dryads. <laughs> one of the things I love that Toby does is when he's when he's comfy, he just like twists his head around and like snuggles in. So cute. I have um. I did have, like, a long time ago, I did a Destroyer Gauntlet Otis run. Um, and he had Starfall, and that was one of my favorites. Um, I think I did it once on, like, Evelyn, I believe. Um, but I don't know that I've ever had, like, a, a super effective one. I really hope... I would love more than anything if they uh, introduced a, a a way to guarantee destroyer gauntlets in adventure mode. I think all of the damage transform should have a guarantee somewhere. Just I think they're so fun to play with um, that I would just love being able to uh, to mess around and have them in adventure mode. I, that that's like my biggest that I would love so much. Um, I think all of the damage types should have one, and I think that uh, they they should be a guaranteed drop somewhere. Just think about like having a, a guaranteed like dark transformation. That'd be so fun, because <laughs> there isn't even an item that does that at the moment, but. <laughs> or a holy transformation. That'd be sweet. <laughs> I don't think we need any of these. Um, if you've never gotten Starfall, this one is super fun. This is the one I was talking about. I had a run where I had Starfall and Otis, and he had Destroyer Gauntlet, so he's dealing uh, um, blunt damage. Um, and uh, I had an Evelyn on the team, of course, and so she was adding a bunch of crack. It was pretty sweet. Mm 
Toby has like pinned my arm over here. I cannot move my left arm at the moment. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll keep that Ember Storm for a little bit. Oh, good. you got an itchy? Mm, oh, nice. Early Steel Forge is perfect. <laughs> he wiped out those uh those guys. <laughs> well, I maybe should have targeted himself with that so he didn't get the the vulnerable, but Okay, so I don't really want to... Oh, I should have uh, maybe drawn a little bit earlier. Um, I don't really want to have... Mm. I guess I'll get rid of those. I don't really want uh, Ev or Amelia to go before the Dryad, because she's going to summon another Dryad. Um, and I don't want... Um... Amelia to go before the Dryad is summoned, because I'd like to maybe kill the Dryad. Okay. Boop. Boop and boop. Now we have a lot of damage. Um... Let's see, I guess... Hmm. I think I don't Eldritch Discharge. I think I just do that. And then I think that, that'll be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, he loves belly rubs. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. Oh my gosh, your little wines. Am I not petting you enough? Oh, sneezy puff. Um, no, I don't think I need any of this. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Uh, we're going to wait for the Moonstone. And then... I do like Dryad Mask a lot, but I think I'm going to stick with Eldritch Cloak for now. I think that's a little bit better. Oh, do you want to go outside? Okay, he is very excited to go outside. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's, uh, I think grab a war banner on Otis, and then, um, do I want a silver ring? I guess I'll just grab gold, and I guess I will grab a forest crown on Andrin, he'll just be the fastest man alive. Okay, so you can accept the offer from these guys, and um, you can get, like, a card in your deck, but uh, I think uh, killing them is uh, is the way to go here. We, um, we have... 
Um, what was I going to say? Oh, this guy's purging block. Ugh. Don't love that. Um, um, what was I even going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, fighting them gives a, a shop, um, which... Uh, I think it is a little bit more valuable than the items in your deck. It's just a, a set of items, not a shop. So you get to pick from a set of items, which I think is fairly powerful. Like, you can just high roll some, like, very good stuff. So sometimes, a lot of the time, you're not doing very much of anything, but sometimes it's... Uh, quite good. And this group of uh, goblins just uh, has this, who spits up Ranga, which is quite... I mean, I, I don't know if that's a... Uh, I don't know the meaning of whatever is happening here and why this ooze spits up Ranga on the first turn of combat. But that's what happens. So, my assumption is that these raiders are uh, up to no good. So, I'm going to pretend like what I'm doing here is great. Instead of just eating a banquet with them. Just checking on Toby to see if he wants to come in yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the decay here is not great, but, uh, don't really have anyone else to heal, so. <laughs> it's quite a lot of damage. Already. Um, don't need any of those. Uh, dispel magic. We have one. I think the one is going to be fine for a lot of this, so... don't think we need to... go any further here. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's anything here that we really care about. We could take a runic die on somebody, but it's not that interesting, so I think I'll just uh, grab a bunch of gold here. Okay, rare equipment shop or golden shards. I think just golden shards is better. Um, I think we're fine at this moment. We don't really need to high roll stuff. And I think like having golden shards for later in the uh, run is going to be better than just having the option of high rolling right now into like a really good item. So... Um... Maybe we get rid of the Ember Storm that goes away and we can sort of, uh, because she doesn't really have, she doesn't have the energy to cast all of those. That'd be six energy. She's going to have five with the Dark Miasma. Um. Yeah, let's just do the Frost Novas. Man. <laughs> that is so much damage. This Searing Blast is slapping. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to go to let Toby in after this fight, which should be pretty quick, honestly. <laughs> ah, this is definitely the correct order of things. Uh, 
Okay, so she's now slowed down enough that we should now be able to kill her um, with Amelia's next turn. Okay, bum bum bum. And a big hit from the icicle. Okay, gonna go Latobi in and uh, be back in a second. Alright, we are back, and uh, I don't think we need a third detection. That's kind of a lot of those. Um, I don't know that we need any of this, honestly. Um, let's just ambush the Dryad. I think that's better than Amelia's option. Just taking the, the Dryad out of the fight is quite nice, so... Okay, um, let's actually have Otis go here. Maybe we keep that. I don't, don't know for sure, but I guess unstable power. Mm -hmm. Good, I can see going either way on that. Um, I guess we can save the Discharge. It'll be better later. Um, I do want to get a bunch of block on Amelia, because she's going to have to hit into the Thorns a bunch, and so basically allowing that to happen is uh, top priority. Okay... Something like that's probably fine. I don't even know that I want to play these. Mm -hmm. I probably should just to get more markup, but... Uh, let's see what we draw. Let's put these two back, um, and then we can just end the turn here. I don't actually... He's going to purge his thorns right after this, and so... Don't actually, or purge his, uh, or cleanse his mark right after this, so I don't know that I want to do that right now. Okay. Pretty good start to this fight. Okay. <laughs> and now we get our wild hunt and we get to stack up just an absurd amount of mark on him up to 42 after he just uh got rid of it okay and then also getting this uh fortify on 
Amelia makes it uh, so she can hit into the thorns with less issue, even though he doesn't really have that much right now. So... Um, I think he's just very dead here, so let's just uh, finish him off in style. There we go. Okay. Don't need any of these. Replenishment is fun on people who aren't your carry, so we'll skip that for now. Hmm. <laughs> Hourglass of Death is one that I basically never take. It uh, is uh, not the best item in the game, I don't think. <laughs> um, okay, so... Toby! You wanna come here? You wanna come here? Hmm? You wanna say hi? Oh, you're just going to lay down on top of me? Okay. Here, we can get a Toby cam again. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're cutie, aren't you? Um, let's do a... I don't know. Cause, so, before I went Blue Portal first to get uh, dis or Paladin Gauntlets early... Um, I also think you can do red portal and uh, go to, yeah, Toby. Yeah, you want to say hi to the chat? Yes. Worm003 thinks you're a cute pupper. Mm. Yeah. Oh, just the most scratches. Um, okay, so I think... Let's try Red Portal first. Um, I think Red Portal first will make us a lot faster through Act 2. So um, let's try that out. <laughs> oh... Oh, I'm ho hopefully he's uh, he's uh, he's all right after the surgery. I know it's uh, it's always scary um, to have them sort of laxadaisic for for a little bit. It's always nice to have them back up in their normal cells. Okay, let's get these broken bones out, um, and then. Andrin, I'm going to take this hunting ring on him, because I think that card is awesome. Or this this item is awesome. Um, his little his feet down here. Oh, huh, Toby. And then... Doo -doo -doo. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Worm. Yeah, when they're just confused, it's it's very sad when they... I know uh, my my mini schnauzer, um, Zeus, who is down there sleeping right now, um, when he was... Uh, this is now like 10 years ago. He's, he's 17 now. Um, but uh, when he was just a... About five or six, um, he lost his ability to like move his uh or to bend his back leg one of his back legs and so he like for a while basically couldn't walk i had to like help him sort of uh move around and stuff and we we the vet was like hey this is something that it's like probably a neurological thing we don't exactly know it'll either get better or he won't make it and well he, he pulled through and sort of learned how to re walk again, but he's always had a little stiff back leg. So the the time of him relearning how to walk was uh, was always very, very sad, but a uh, nice thing once he got it and sort of uh, got back to his normal self pretty quickly after that. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to buy this Cloak of Speed. 
it's it's fine I'm gonna remove this living flame I'm not sure that it's the best thing to add to the deck in the first place so it hasn't really done all that much over the course of uh... oh your next puff is gonna be Loki that's adorable um, yeah, Zeus, uh, it was funny when we were, when I was, when we were naming him, um, my, uh, brother was, uh, learning German at the time, and, uh, the word for sweet in German is Zeus, and so, uh, we ended up naming him Zeus for a combination of, uh, Sweet and and the god. We thought it uh, worked very well for Mini Schnauzer with his big uh, his big beard, even as a pup. <laughs> very cute. <laughs> okay, so let's remove some cards. I'm gonna remove these clarities. Um, I think the heels can come out at this point. Ba -bum -bum. Oh, I do want to swap this Ember Storm version. I guess um, in this act, the Ember Storms are not quite as great as they could be, just because the, the boss fight is like not really where we want to be. Ember Storms are not really where we want to be for that fight, but. Okay, I will definitely upgrade the Anthem of Hope. Um, I think we need to upgrade this Fanaticism too. Um, he ha we have like a bunch of two costs and even the divine power, so, um, which I think I'm going to upgrade to the version that stays in the deck. Um, and then for Heiner, we're going to grab him an entrench and then upgrade that one. Oh, I should have taken out the bluff, but... Um, so, it's a little weird, but I'm going to... Add in a healing rain to Otis's deck and upgrade it um, to this version. Um, I mainly just want to have a little bit of security against the the boss of this act. A little bit more dispel, I think, will be helpful. I honestly don't want really want to take anything out of this deck right now. I think we're going to need some of these uh, cold cards to really make it through. Um, maybe I'll take out one Frost Nova. It's kind of weird taking a Frost Nova out over the Frost Bolt. I think I want the Frost Bolt. Um, yeah, Healing Rain is like an absurd card. <laughs> it's very good. Um, I basically bring it on almost every fight. So um, I think it is uh, quite nice. Um, hmm. So the slices are not that bad because they're basically free for Andrin. I kind of want to take out some Hunter's Marks. I think they'll just, uh, there'll be other stuff that I want in that place. I could take out the Benediction. Um, the main, yeah, the main reason I'm, I have a Frostbolt in here still is that uh, against this boss, I think uh, it's kind of okay. No, I probably should no. I no, I should have, I should have just taken out the Frostbolt over the Frost Nova. I don't know really what I was thinking there. I guess, yeah, let's just take it out. It's fine. We have some Ice Lances. I might swap over one of these Ice Lance upgrades to the one that stays in the deck, just so we have this for the boss. Um, so we have a sort of higher density of spells in the deck for that fight. Because I'm a little bit worried about it, but... 
Um, okay. I can't take out one more card from Otis's deck. Um, I think for now I might leave it as is. I could take out one more from here, but I think we're okay, honestly. Oh, I guess this detection should be this version, I think. Okay, uh, do I want to buy a Cloak of Speed? Um, no, I think I can save for other stuff down the line. I think that's fine. Okay, we, are, we have a pretty sick path. We get to come this way, do Strange Team, Raging Beast, and then go to the Binks node and come up into the Black Forge. A very nice path. Um, yeah, this seems pretty easy to do, so let's take a 500 gold and 500 shard thing. I mean, not easy, this is, like, annoying. A stay level one. Wow, that would be pretty wild. I cannot even, I cannot even imagine doing that. <laughs> that sounds so rough. Who are you thinking of bringing? That's, that's an interesting uh, thought experiment. Who's the best character without any level ups? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It may go horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a fun idea, though. The, uh, yeah, that sounds, uh. <laughs> I'm trying to think, man. Who has, like, the most. Andrin, Laia, Cornelius, Navalia. Okay. Interesting. Is like uh, is that with a Navalia carry? I assume, right? <laughs> Navalia's level one is pretty crazy. She gets like so much damage from that. <laughs> Interesting. That'd be fun, yeah. I mean, Cornelius... <laughs> Cornelius, that for that, is like the perfect character. Um, you're just like, I. you're here to use some books on on the team, and uh, that's enough. Uh, whoops, I guess I should have uh, used this first. Hey, Toby, what's up, bud? Yeah, you're fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Two scroll of intellect. Hey, you might get more. You might pick up another one. It is pretty crazy, though, that, like, because he starts with two scroll of intellects, it just, like, opens up so many doors. These guys do not take much burn da fire damage. If I resist, is quite high. Um. <laughs> there we go.
Oh yeah, if Wilbur had Scroll of Intellects in his starting deck, you would be... I mean, I also, I think Wilbur is like quite a good character just in general, but like, he would be busted. <laughs> like, so... He would be so good if he had two Scroll of Intellects to start with. It would definitely make him much better for OTK, right? <laughs> Oh, right. I, forget, I always forget that this just adds 15% base resist, too. <laughs> so that's one, That's a big part of why they are uh, so tanky. <laughs> okay, let's try to keep ourselves afloat here. We have uh, quite a few sads in there <laughs> in the deck. <laughs> oh, there's only one on top. That's lame. Quite important here that we slow this guy down um, so that Otis gets a turn. Hey, Warm. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Um, have a great night, and uh, yeah, glad you're able to, to catch a stream. <laughs> Man, Otis uh, did not really uh, draw anything to help Heiner there. <laughs> Quite the hand. <laughs> okay, there's only two sads in the deck, so next turn she's going to draw... Two sads, or, or no, four sads, along with uh, a mystery card. Otis is getting beat up here. Okay, well. Oh, we actually get to get rid of all of these. It's quite nice. <laughs> Oof. Very close to him. No, I'd have to be Otis. Poor Otis. What is the reward for this? I don't even I don't remember. It's probably not worth whatever. Oh, it was 500, 500. Well, maybe that's worth it. That was, uh, that was a rough fight. Be okay, though. We got another Ember Storm. Hmm. I will grab another repair armor now that he's got a, uh,. Okay. This is nice. Um, hmm. So, huh. Gold chain. We aren't doing a ton with the hard amulet, um, but I guess I can just put gold chain on Amelia. I could take a torch on Amelia. Getting two extra burns kind of nice, but let's do this. I think. 
that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna train as Modi. Train as Modi is like pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's uh get rid of some of that. I guess the Frost Nova can stick around. Hmm. Guess that's fine. We don't have our upgrade yet, so the we can't cast our um, entrench on turn one. Okay, so some good damage there. Oh, we don't need to use the energy on the dispel. Ooh. Was uh, a lot of mark to apply. Very nice. Um. You know, I think I can just leave all that there. That seems fine. I guess I knew that was a draw pile, but I probably still wanted to give her the extra draw, so. Okay. <laughs> Okay. He's at 50 marks, so getting more on that doesn't really do anything. Oh, I should have sped. I should have had Heiner go first, but just to give a little bit of extra damage. But I think she has enough here to kill him anyway. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Heiner gets the killing blow with the heat laser. Nice. Wow, this is an early Citadel. I'll take that. Seems good. Hmm. Ball Lightning, and, Ball Lightning and Electrocute are, like, not the worst card. I will take an upgraded delay response, and, um... Hmm. This is kind of interesting. This version gives you two energy back. So sort of like three cost, deal 58, slow a bunch, spark. Um, hmm. Do I ever want this in the deck? I think it's quite bad, but I guess it is okay with Arcane Reflex. Maybe I can say the same with Ball Lightning. Let, let's try and Electrocute. Let's, let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take Minotaur Horn on uh, Otis. And then... I don't think we take anything else. Oh, I guess we can take Twin Blades on Andrin. It's actually kind of decent. Um, uh, 
Um, that gives us um, an extra draw whenever he um, gets a slice in his hand. Yeah, let's try this out. <laughs> Already paying off. Uh, we still don't have our level up, so... I'm going to play it a little bit safe here. Maybe I keep the Ember Storms. They're probably okay. Having an extra storm each turn, not my favorite. Especially when there's a Stormbringer in the fight. But... Okay, I do think I have to give Heiner the extra block here. Just being able to keep Steel Forge up and procking is like our biggest priority here. Um. I'm gonna just start with that. It gives us an extra draw next turn, so I think that uh, works out to be worth it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is looking pretty good. Um, those all look kind of fine. Goodbye, Citadel. <laughs> we won't be casting that for a little while, but... We can dream. Okay, quite a lot of damage here from... All of the Ember Storms. You're very good right now. Um, let's skip that one. I don't have the invisibility talents for her, so I don't think we go there. It's kind of nice having Crusader Helm on uh, somebody who gets bonus damage from Fortify, but I, I don't really want to spend my gold on it, so let's just skip that one. Okay, Defensive Mastery, Defensive Mastery, uh, Frost Swords, and Momentum here. Okay, we're going to risk going as far as possible. Hopefully we can keep track of this. I think it's this one. Oh, no. That's a severe burn. Dang. That's not great for us, but... Too bad. I think it's, it's basically... All, I basically always risk that. Um... But it does feel pretty bad when you miss. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's okay to keep around. I will get rid of those, though. <laughs> cool. Mm 
Okay. <laughs> hey, Billy. Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, that is super funny that we can proc Steel Forge with that. I had not even thought of that before. Yeah, one of the things I love uh, the most about Amelia and how she plays is it just feels like you can build her and play her in a lot of different ways. So, um, quite an enjoyable time. Okay, I might have been able to just hit him, the, go the main golem, and it would have killed him, but... Mm, too bad we don't we don't have enough uh, damage here, or we don't have any damage on Otis, so I'm not really able to uh, kill this guy this turn. But we'll get him next turn. One lower reward level, though, so kind of unfortunate there. <laughs> Okay, a Corrupted Hunter's Mark seems good. We could have taken a fortune telling there, but... Okay, so we get a little bit of extra armor here. Yeah, she's one of my favorite characters, for sure. Um, I think she just... Uh, she really can do it all. <laughs> okay, this first turn is a turn where I probably just want to lay off a little bit. I don't want to hit into reactive laser all too much, so... I'm going to cast this one because it gives a spell sword, but I'm not going to cast these ones. We'll, we'll save those for later. Um, <laughs> okay. Heiner gets nuked, which... Breaks through all of his blocks. The steel forge doesn't proc, but now we have. Oh, we can actually proc it with the uh, Andrin noise. And okay, get rid of the severe burn, and then I think just keep everything else. It looks fine. Oh, I should have gotten rid of. Uh, the unstable power. We're actually at, like, near max powerful, so... Would have been a little bit better to do that. Okay. And I think just a detection so we get mark on everyone is, uh, is pretty good. Okay. If Otis can give any bless this turn. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, we even got to... Even got to dispel all of our burn, which will help out. 
They didn't really need to do that, but... You know, I think we might just be able to focus down this main guy. That's close. But I think we'll be just fine here. <laughs> yeah, Amelia's already got a bunch of Fortify, and uh, this guy is basically maxed out on Mark, and uh, it's going to be quite vulnerable. <laughs> Even with the slow, she's still faster than their shackled forms, so... And there we go! A nice fight. Ooh, another anthem is awesome. I don't think we need any of those. Man, Ballad of Evasion is pretty good. We do have a way into Stanza. We could also take a Healing Serenade just for the main fight. Maybe Healing Serenade is a higher chance of getting cast since it's two. Okay, so let's grab the wall. We could have had a Corrupted Cloak of Shadows here, <laughs> but, uh, um, man, I do really like mixed salad, um, so I, I do wonder, like, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to keep Minotaur Horn. I think this uh, card is quite good um, for Otis. He does a lot of AoE healing just with his passive, and so that gives a bunch of uh, powerful to the whole team. And then also the just free regen is nice. Um, and I think this Bellforce Pipe is better than a mixed salad, so... I guess I'll keep that, and then we will take a Cloak of Speed on Andrin. I think that'll be good. Over the Mixed Salad, even though Mixed Salad is pretty busted, so maybe maybe Mixed Salad was still better there. <laughs> okay, um... I'm getting rid of a life tap. I think that's okay. Okay, Steel Forge early. I always enjoy, along with the taunt. Um, we should be able to stack up some decent charges um, of Fortify on Amelia before her turn. <laughs> yeah, that seems worth it. We lose one spell sword, but uh, we will uh, get it back soon enough. Okay, uh, Heiner now has uh, 17 mark because Graham donated the mark back to him. So, kind of a, a little scary there, but. Hmm. 
<laughs> Get rid of those. Okay. <laughs> So grab an entrench and get rid of the mark. Very nice. Amelia is so strong. <laughs> Look at her go. Ooh. We get a lot of block here. <laughs> the, uh, the gravity well there. Kind of scary. <laughs> okay. I guess, uh, I don't, I don't think we can wait, unfortunately. I would like to actually heal up a bit before the next fight, but I think we kind of need to get out of there. Um, I do like expose armor with, uh, on Andrin. Um, we have the melee attacks um get one cost reduced and or you get an you get an energy back for them and uh i think this one is just pretty good um we would like to upgrade it to this four cost version i think eventually but uh i think just having i've liked having one of these in the deck i think like uh just gives an easier time of applying what we need yeah i will i will take a, a heal here Hopefully, this is okay. Um, ideally, okay. I'm actually going to... Use... Trace myself so that we can find our... Um, chant of initiative. Um, so that we can have Heiner go quickly here. Um, and hopefully, with the taunt and uh, this other stuff, we can keep our team alive. Taking quite a lot of damage there, but uh, hopefully. Eesh. Not. Kind of a. Kind of a scary fight we've got going on here. We did heal up a, a little bit there, which is. It's nice. Um, oh, that's actually really good. So having Amelia go before them here, we get to uh, basically get rid of a bunch of uh, wet that's on them before they get to take their turn. So it's quite helpful. Um, Let's see if we can take out this warden. Um, eesh. Uh, Heiner? A little, little bit of trouble. Okay. Oof. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Uh, I think we... We definitely have quite a few outs here. Um... The fact that we our, our steel forge is seemingly very low in the deck is causing issues for sure. Um, okay, we did manage to kill the warden, which is nice. And actually, it was quite nice. Um, okay, let's see if we can't find. Okay, that works. Um, I was looking for a speed boost, so the chant here is uh, what we needed. Um, so that we can chant Amelia. And I think... Hopefully kill some of these front guys, because the that's really where it is... Um. Okay. Okay, so we killed the, both of the other guys, and we've just got uh, Phil here left over. Um, our team is very slow, but... Um, I don't know that we need to actually hit him. Amelia will kill him for sure, so... I think my hope here is to just uh, heal up the team as much as we can before the next fight. Because um, the next fight is going to be rough for sure. Oh, I can use a carp. Um, here... I think what we do is, oh, well, no, we have to, okay, well, that's fine. I was hoping to find a, a speed boost so that we could have Otis go f before Amelia, so we could get a little bit of extra healing, but uh, didn't quite get there. Okay, I will take another Dispel Magic. That's pretty good for this upcoming fight. And then... I think we... Let's try to heal. Nice. Okay. So we did heal up. Um, I'm slightly worried about this fight. I think the, the good things we have going for us in this one... Um, and I think one thing that I th will determine in large part how we do in this one is how quickly we draw our steel forge and there it is so hooray for us um <laughs> okay i will use improvised lasers or improved lasers um Get those out of the deck for now. Mm. Uh, Andrin will kill this, so I think that is fine work. Oy, oy, oy. Um. Oh, uh... I guess we will use the healing rain now. You kind of want that the turn after this, but uh, just to get rid of a little bit more burn. Um, we can put that back with setup, which should actually be quite helpful. Oh, uh, I guess we won't. 
be able to... Uh, I guess we could just not play those, and now we get to Healing Serenade next turn, which is pretty nice. Um, I guess I can just save the energy. We can maybe save up for a Citadel. Probably not, but we could, we could have dreams. Um, so Ember Storms are not great, but they do give us charges, which... That gets us a good amount of damage, so I will... I will play them, even though it's, like, not amazing. Okay. So we managed to, like, uh... Ooh. Alright, this fight is looking pretty good. He's already at max... Um... He is at uh, max mark. Um, we also got to... Be, we don't have any burn on our team, which is pretty impressive, honestly. Um, I suppose we will use this. I think that's fine. We could have saved and then played Citadel next turn, but I think just the extra damage, like, right now is... A bit better. Um, by giving out some extra fortify, but maybe that's maybe that's incorrect. <laughs> He's healing up, but we're also stacking up damage on Amelia for Amelia and uh So, I think we are in decent shape in this fight. I think we can just leave the ash. His deck doesn't... He, we just, like, drew all the ashes on his first turn, and he um, reshuffled. Or I guess there we were probably on top of... Two on top of this deck, but... Okay. <laughs> Okay, hold the Elder's Discharge for now. Okay, so we now have a turn where he is, uh, uh, where we get to go before him, which is nice. If we could help out... Um, I guess we'll do that on Heiner. I was hoping to maybe be able to... help out Mal er, Amelia's draw situation, but... Something kind of... iffy here. Yeah... Ooh, we came close. If we had drawn... Mm, not actually sure anything would have actually killed him there. <laughs> okay, but we can get rid of basically all that. And now get rid of those. Okay. 
just end the turn there. Um, oof. Not the turn there for poor Otis. Okay, so... He's gonna heal this turn, which is unfortunate, because I don't... I think he doesn't heal the turn after this, though, but... We can't really... We aren't really gonna deal much damage to him, because I, I guess I could speed boost Amelia. Okay. Oof. Pretty rough hand. Hmm. Okay, Otis has got to dispel Heiner or he will die. Okay, even with Heiner being so low, I think we we have to put the bless on Amelia, or she, or we just can't beat win the fight. We we have to use that as our scaling. Um, okay, what does she? Yeah, let's just look. Get rid of these. Um, I guess an Ember Storm's better than nothing. Oof. This one might be... Uh, a bit too much for us. Um, we're coming here this early, that is. Um, because I usually would, um, come here once I have Paladin Gauntlets, and it does make it a lot easier to actually take this fight on. Uh, Otis is, has a lot of burn now, but... Okay. It's honestly not the worst. He's going to do this uh, Meteor Shower and then Shackle and Green? Okay, okay. No, I actually think... Okay, depending on what Amelia draws. We have two draws that are decent. Ooh, it would have been nice to hit this guy. Oh. Okay, I think this... I think this might just... Oh, dang. Not quite enough damage there. Oof. Um... Okay. Oh, I guess I could have done a little bit more damage doing that, but... Okay, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll give Amelia some help with our last breath on Otis. Looks like he's probably gonna die here. Yeah, there he goes. Um, he could have dodged that. Um, oh, that was actually the perfect time for that. Um, okay. Nineteen damage versus I think that <laughs> yeah that that's slightly better for for Andrin. Okay, we actually won that. I was like kind of worried there through a lot of that fight, but uh, we made it through. 
Um... Probably nothing there. Battle Shout's fine, but I don't think we need it on Heiner. And especially with Otis giving out so much powerful. Um, I don't think we need those on Amelia. Okay. Um... Let's take an Aquamarine Bracelet here on Heiner. Just so that uh, we get the extra energy on him. That's quite nice. Um, over Lava Crystal? Probably not. Okay, let's take our Volcanic Axe. Haha! <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a close one, Billy. It was a, it was a. We definitely could have lost the run there, but I think like there were a couple of things that that really helped. I do think that the healing rain was pretty huge. Um, the the fact that we were able to healing serenade off a fair amount of burn, and then um, Heiner just keeping quite a lot of block on everyone. It was was pretty nice. Sort of all contributed to us uh, being able to do that. So, yeah, we got some. We have some death doors to remove in this act. We have quite a lot of gold. So, um, um I think once Ig Igdo gets to the end of the, I think there's like a turn where he, I think it's turn six or seven. He stops healing at some point. And so it I think he heals like most of the early turns. It might be random, but I f I'm pretty sure that there's there's a set like couple of turns where he just he he will he won't heal. But uh I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that. Somebody else could maybe tell you a little bit better. Okay, Clairvoyant Scroll is very good. Um, I love this item basically more than anything else. It's so good. Um, it's like one of my favorite items, uh, and it can be pretty insane if you get it. Um, Yeah, I, I know that uh, I have won a lot of runs where it's like he's healing quite a lot on a bunch of turns and then he ends up then doing a, he like gives you a, a break where it's like, okay, I just need like one turn where he doesn't heal or I can like deal like half his health pool. Um, and so, yeah, that that um, is uh, something that I've uh, sort of relied on. Hey, Stand on Head. Guten Morgen to you. Good morning uh, from your neck of the woods. It's getting pretty late for me. <laughs> the, do I want to buy a clairvoyant scroll? Yeah, let's do it. It's so fun when it goes off. And uh, so, yeah, let's try it. I basically always try to high roll. Oh, East Coast, you're up early then. Um, so you're like, uh, you're up quite early. Nice. Uh, da, 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 da. What do I want to upgrade here? I don't, there's not like all that much stuff that I'm super worried about. Um, I do want to upgrade this Anthem of Hope. Um, uh, I think we can now remove this Healing Rain. That was mainly just for that last act. Um, I think we can take the Benediction out too. We're going to be um, doing a lot of... Uh, giving out a lot of Bless with just uh, our Anthems once we get our Paladin Gauntlets. So 
Um, I think we'll rely a little bit more on that. Um, I, the barriers are kind of... I kind of like the barriers. Just the having a, a chunk of healing at the beginning of fights can be quite helpful, I think. Um, okay, so I'm going to remove these Frost Novas now. Um, I think the Ember Storms are just uh, going to be good enough to sort of carry us through. I'm also, oh, I guess we're, we're full up. Um, I will be buying a recurring nightmare on Amelia. Um, one of her best cards once you get her damage transformed. Um, recurring nightmare is just like a crazy good card. It also like is a one cost and you need it to be uh, so that you can proc your frost swords uh, and that kind of stuff. So um, I also want to swap this over to the one that gives two energy back. I think that'll be a lot more castable. Um, I think for Heiner, let's remove an intercept and a repair armor. Um, and a guard. Oh no, the bluff. Let's remove those four. Because I think with him, I really just want to find an early Steel Forge, an early Entrench, uh, maybe play the Citadel at some point. Um, if I do want to play Citadel, I should probably give him like a Blood Rage in his deck. I think we can get by with just one repair armor. Eh. Maybe just be able to take out a guard. The repair armors are fine. Um, Otis is looking pretty good. Amelia, we could take out this unstable power. I don't hate it, though. It is kind of nice, um, just because like, Otis isn't going to give her... Uh, hey, Tordos. Um, I think Scorching Ray is fine. Um, I think part of the reason I don't, um, I'm not, like, super interested in it is, uh, the Recurring Nightmare is really where I want to be spending my excess energy. Um, we don't have anyone on this team who can, like, really give a lot of energy. So I'm going to be relying on either items or being, like, a pretty low-cost deck for Amelia to function. And so I, I think just Recurring Nightmare probably deals quite a lot more damage than Scorching Ray. Um, also, like, in most of the hallway fights, I think, like, just playing an Ember Storm is, uh, like, playing two Ember Storms is better than one Scorching Ray. Um and uh, you have to draw more cards obviously but it's sort of more it's easier for me to get card draw than um energy with this comp so uh that's sort of where i'm at with scorching ray but yeah you're you're right like i think if uh in a slightly altered uh comp and slightly altered so i would uh, definitely use scorching ray is a card that i i take quite often so um um, I think I might just save the rest of this, the shards. Like, I'm not really sure what I would need to change at this point. I think we're, like, in a pretty good space. Oh, I might upgrade this chant. Um, yeah, let's just save our gold. We can maybe... Grab something else along the way. So we do have to uh, give the woman 200 gold for food. It tells us about the secret armory stuff so that we can get paladin gauntlets. Getting an enrage on Heiner seems quite good. Um, if we ever want him to play the entrench. Um... You know, that hand looks pretty good. Um, I 
guess I will keep the life tap. <laughs> You're dealing a decent chunk of damage to us. <laughs> okay, we just chuck out all these ember storms. Take a bunch of thorns damage. Oh. <laughs> okay, um getting rid of all of that seems kind of necessary. I should have hmm, could have played that a little bit better because I could have put the courage on before he used his fanaticism. But Ooh, I actually get to proc our steel forge again. I do really enjoy that interaction. <laughs> sure. I think, uh, I expect this act will be like pretty chill. Um, I think Amelia is going to be, like, really powerful this act, which is the, the main reason why I, in, in my past run, I guess I, um, in the past run, I went to act two, and then I went to act, or I went to blue act in act two, and then swapped over to, uh, uh the other one in act three, and, uh, I wish me. I wish there's. There's so many bad songs that I just uh, end up never taking a music sheet. Um. Do I want an entrench? It's probably fine. <laughs> Cold hands is fine. Yeah, the, uh, the it's very rare that I have a burnt carp in my in my deck, but uh, <laughs> that working is just super funny. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. <laughs> and then. Get rid of the cold hands here and just leave everything else. We don't really want to draw back into that. <laughs> oh, uh, Otis dying here would be so sad. Oof. Oh my gosh, Amelia died? Oh no, is there a way to save her? What did I even do here? Oh my gosh. Uh, Valzamad Dragon, hello. Glad to have you here. Um, uh, it looks like Amelia is just a dunzo. I mean, well, oh, wait, 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 wait. No. I think she's just dead. I don't know if there's any way we... I guess this run might just be over. Because, uh... Is there any way... To change... Oh, wait. We get, we get one draw. Okay. No, we can maybe do something here. I forgot about the draw, so let's, uh... 
let's uh, use this here. And then this here. Oh no. Uh, Valzamac, dra or Valzamad Dragon, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, you've been following since I started playing ATO a couple of weeks ago, and you've been loving my content. Hey, awesome. ATO is like such a fun game, so I'm glad uh, you have been enjoying it. And uh, yeah, let me know what your favorite comps have been, if there's any characters that you really enjoy um, playing or watching. Always interested to hear what people's uh, favorite things are. Okay, we did manage to find our way into a chant. Which may just be enough, I guess. Uh, and a little bit of health from that. Um, oh, right. He sped him up. So I guess that didn't actually do anything. Maybe the the vitality will be enough. Oh my gosh, he went to one? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, the most I've been enjoying are Laya and Navalia carries. Sweet. Um, I think they are super fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think they, uh, are both, like, pretty, pretty sweet, uh, setups. The, uh, I really love the Laya self-burn comps. I think those are super fun. And Navalia is just, like, such an insane carry. I really thought we were dead, but Amelia seems to still be kicking here, so... <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty nice for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There we go. Okay. These are... Yeah, I've been playing a lot more nav support recently. Um, I think she uh, she feels like a niche that I really enjoy. Where it's like I I have a deck that I or I have a like a team comp that I like, um, but it's just like missing that little extra oomph, um, which. Uh, you can get from uh, um, like that little extra oomph of energy which uh, um, ends up then really pushing her over the edge on some of the cool stuff she can do. Um, I think the blue act one is probably better. Um, it's a pretty crazy item, but the yellow act one with the, the gloves, like, I think there are setups where I've liked that a lot. So I think both can work, but I think the one in blue act is, at least for me, has been, um, a little bit, uh, um, has felt a little bit better. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm actually going to use this on 
Otis to hopefully maybe have a better unwavering faith. We can maybe ignore some of the other stuff that's going on. Yeah, that seems good. Do, do, do. We can't play the Healing Serenade next turn E anyway, so let's get rid of that. Okay. Man, <laughs> this fight, Amelia literally went to one. <laughs> on, like, tur on turn one. And she lived because Andrin threw a burning fish at her. She he threw a burnt carpet at her on turn one. And that was just enough health to keep her alive. What a crazy fight. And you're actually crushing with his cold damage. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it was so wild that that actually worked. I was like for sure thought we were we were done so in this in this run. Um I think we'll skip there. Um, the bluff I'm not like super interested in. <laughs> Scroll of Resurrection. Um, I don't think I'm taking anything here. I guess I could take a Chalice of Queens, but Otis really doesn't have any um, spells, so he would basically be taking it so that, uh, he gets two extra regen charges for the Minotaur Horn, um, which I just don't think is worth the gold, so let's skip that. Um, we get to give her the Moonstone and get a Sapphire back in return. Um, normally I would use these, but I'm actually gonna heal here, because this is, a uh, we've been... We've had a couple of pretty rough fights recently. Okay, Toby is over here sleeping. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you his. Uh, he's been. Uh... Oh, he just stopped. I think he. Oh no, he's been doing his sleep run twitching, which is uh, quite cute. <laughs> okay, so. Let's uh, come over here. Uh, don't think we need either of those, so. <laughs> Let's trace ourselves. Uh, maybe a wild hunt is uh, good enough. Yeah. Oh, here he goes. Let's see. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Oh, you can see his little paw twitching. <laughs> He's such a cutie. Um, let's get rid of this and keep the rest. Yeah, Toby. <laughs> it's funny, I can like, once he's asleep, he is a pretty deep sleeper. Like, it takes a fair amount for me to actually, like, jog him out of his, uh, out of his, uh, sort of, uh, nap times. <laughs> Trying to think of who this actually matters against. I guess we can do this just to slow him. Um. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. This is. I guess I. I guess I didn't need to do that. He's already kind of low on health. Here, we'll see if. Uh... Hey, Toby. Hey, buddy. You want to come over here? You want to come over here? Oh, come on. You want to come over? He's like, no, I was sleeping. Why'd you wake me up? Oh, you're just too cute. Um. Okay, let's speed up Otis, and uh, we can hopefully get Heiner in a better position. Um. Maybe we'll take that out and see how he does. Um, I thought I could play this healing serenade. I guess I did not play a speed boost yet. <laughs> Target down, because this is going to kill those two, so we can then deal some extra damage to the Ravager. <laughs> okay. Quite a lot of healing here from Otis. Very nice. Oh, I was very close to killing him there. Would have been nice to end the turn, end it on round two, but... <laughs> okay, I can get rid of that, 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 that. Basically, just looking for anything that actually heals. Oh, that's such a big stretch, Toby. <laughs> okay, um... Pain suppression's like kind of an interesting one. Hadn't really thought about this very much, but uh, or I haven't really thought about that card very much. Um, hmm. I know. Look at Toby go. He's just the best uh, ATO player there is. Let's see, we can... So... We have some very cute Toby emotes. <laughs> um, yeah, Divine Guidance is, uh, is kind of cool. Um... This one, I usually like the one that puts it in your hand, but this one does save a little bit of energy. Let's let's try that out. Um, I think Otis is, is the best here. <laughs> okay, I so. I guess this does get him ahead of them, so let's tr let's do that. Oh, would we have? I guess if we do this, because he's he has five, six, seven, eight, and then this costs eight. 
This seems good. <laughs> okay, that seems that seems awesome. Let's uh let's definitely do that. Oh, you want to come over? Oh, pup. Oh, oh sorry for moving ya. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Um, okay. There we go, pup. <laughs> Still, uh, still, Toby's new here, so it's, Toby is interesting, because most of the time he's, like, totally chill with just being, like, dragged around, but, uh, <laughs> he's like, as long as I'm getting closer to you, I'm down for wherever you want to move me, but, occasionally he's like, nope. <laughs> So gotta gotta just find his uh, his happy place and, and let him be there. Mm, Toby, yeah. <laughs> okay. And a wild hunt is pretty sweet. Um. <laughs> Yeah. He, he definitely, uh... <laughs> I, I, I am very happy that he knows how to say no. Uh, 47 damage! My gosh, that's a lot of mark on that man. Um... Okay, so... Electrocute... Probably not this turn... I don't think we need this. Well, I guess we don't have any powerful right now, so maybe it's going to be okay. Okay, this guy stealing Heiner's taunt is pretty funny. <laughs> Don't know that I've seen that before. got more taunt. Let's, uh... Amelia is just over here with all this donated mark. Let's, uh, speed her up so that hopefully we can, uh... kill this guy before he, uh, he murders the rest of us. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and a ton of damage from this. Recurring Nightmare with the damage transformation just feels so sick. We'll just take, keep taking Citadels, why not? We'll get punished eventually, but <laughs> that time is not now. Okay, we have the special items. Let's take a look at those before we level up. Ooh, Archmage book. It's a good one. Um, kind of interesting. Um, Bodis still has no attacks um or no no spells 
Andrin does have some spells, but I kind of want to take a Fishing Rod on him. His spells are just these, so it would make these draw a card when we play them, but I'm not sure how how much better than that is than just having a Fishing Rod that's there every turn. We have the Paladin Gauntlets. I keep dreaming of finding Corrupted Paladin Gauntlets, but I still have never found a, a pair of Corrupted Paladin Gauntlets. That just it makes me very sad that it's never happened. Um, I do think that uh, the Damage Transform is better than Archmage Book, even though that is a very good item. Yeah, let's do just a Corrupted Fishing Rod. I kind of like that. That's just an extra draw each turn. And extra draw each turn is quite good. Um, let's do Fusion Laser. I think that one's pretty awesome. Um, I don't really want Rift Force. Um, we don't want to transform our damage to... in. Uh, uh, to this type, so we just lose a lot of damage because the Fortify no longer increases our damage, so we'll take an Ice Palace, even though it's not, like, it's not great. And our post, like, sometimes you just don't even take that upgrade. It's not that good, but... Um... Yeah, let's take some Golden Shards. I like that. This uh, isn't something I'm super worried about. Maybe I should be. I've taken a lot of corruption events this uh, act, and uh, some of them have been a little worrying, to say the least. But I think we are in a place where, like, we are... Um, I feel like we're in uh, quite a good spot. We just like hit a pretty big power spike. Ooh, if only we could play this right now. <laughs> um, these are very good. Okay, so he's got a reactive laser going. That's fine, though. Not too worried about that. <laughs> okay. Um. How much did we just take from that? Let's see. Oh, it was it was 38 from that and 17. Okay, I think we are good now. Whew. Oh, Toby. Me. <laughs> he does love getting his belly scratched. <laughs> yeah, don't ya? <laughs> that was nice. I haven't cast that one in a bit, so... Nice to get some... Extra defense there. Okay. 
ice palace and one of these and one of these and there we go Ooh, last stand is actually insane in this deck if we can get it upgraded to the one where they cost zero we have two citadels and two entrenches that uh we can pick up off of those so seems very good um scroll vent looks fine but i don't know that i really care to like just upgrade it and then have to play it all the time it's like fine it probably is worth taking but i'm just like uh sort of lazy <laughs> Otis is so fun, yeah. I think uh, Otis's uh, whole deal is just... Um, I think he he's... Uh, um, for sure... Uh, my favorite healer... Um, I'm not 100% sure on, like, who my favorite DPS is. Probably Eve is still my favorite DPS, but I guess I, I do love, um, I guess I will use this. Um, I do love uh, um, Nezglak healing too. Yeah, I've had a number of um, times fighting this boss where he... Uh, I could have maybe saved some of those, but... Um, like where I have lost... Uh, <laughs> like one of my center characters dies... And then he freezes mid the middle heroes, and so if you uh, aren't careful, then uh, he uh, will just start uh, repeatedly freezing the one character who is uh, remaining. Oh, I guess I could have played that. I was saving it, but I, uh, yeah, we got him up to max mark anyway. I mean, the lucky thing about uh, this um, boss with our current setup is we are dealing burn damage, and he takes a, a ridiculous amount of damage from burn. Oh, I guess I should have... I should have used that first, but... Okay. Yeah, Toby. <laughs> oh, I guess I... Hmm. This is uh, Toby's favorite pose over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess we'll leave the rest there. Uh, we don't need an unstable power. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, a bunch of recurring nightmares, and there we go. Yeah, Nez is just like, uh, Nez is, feels so good. I just, uh, very much enjoy, uh, his, his play style, and, uh, Um, hmm, evocation. We do have to draw that. I don't know that we want another one. Vampiric Tutor, we don't really have any good Vampiric Tutor spells. Like, the best one is Electrocute, and uh, that's basically, like, one out of a lot of random stuff. So I think I might just skip there. Um, I kind of like Safeguard, though. Let's take that. We can swap the other upgrade. Ooh, Butcher Block is awesome. Um, I think I will take that on Heiner. And then... Probably nothing here. Frozen Tears, kind of interesting. We have some chill stuff going on here, but... I think I might just keep the full resist. Dude, yeah, Nez, Sylvie, Gustav sounds like a fun comp to, to play. Um, that would be that would be that would be a good time. Oh, actually, I should take this Tesseract on Heiner. Is that better than Butcher Block? Eh, maybe not. Yeah, let's get, let's let's keep the Butcher Block. I, I really like Butcher Block. I think it's very good. Being able to get like a premium meat, uh, uh, even just normal meat, is very good. And spoiled meat's fine. So I think I will be okay with that. Tesseract is pretty good though. I mean, we have two of these uh, things, so being able to play those would be good, but. <laughs> oh, but we are we already we just took the butcher block on him, so we wouldn't we can't you can't take two of the same or you can't have uh two items on the same person. So I think I think butcher block is a little bit better than Tesseract at the moment, so um <laughs> Okay, off into act four. Okay, let's uh, finish off this run. See if we get any good items in the shop. <gasps> there it is. Look at us go. Very cool. Yeah, being able to, like, double-pick items would be pretty sweet. Um, we can also take a Chalice of Kings here. It's quite good. Um... Yeah, seems great. Uh, I don't know that, uh, we need much many changes to these decks i'm sure there are, are things that would be good um i think i will remove like a couple of these barriers i think i remove the delay response just because it's a little slow I think I want this divine power so that, uh, because I don't know that I want it to stick around in the deck. Um, I think it might be better this way. Um, hmm. 
<laughs> I... Yeah, Dragon, I uh, will be finishing up this run, so um, as long as... Uh, it'll probably be like, uh, an, like an hour or so for this run to finish, so... Hopefully I don't just die, but uh, yeah, it's been nice having you here. Um, glad to be able to chat, and uh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. I don't actually mind having like the slices, just because they do draw a card. Makes a pretty big difference when that happens. Um, I will grab this upgrade because I think zero cost, making it zero cost, like makes the entrenches drawn off of that so much better. This safeguard version is much better, so let's grab that. And then, um, I think we want to upgrade these to get rid of insanity. Um,. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to grab. I'm not sure that there's anything that's like super interesting, so maybe I just uh, save. Oh, I do want to swap this mana gem version over to this one. Dude, that sounds awesome, Billy. Yeah, it's fun like at the end of the game when uh, you just like start raking in the meditates um you like start your your builds start going off and you just get like a bunch of uh the really powerful energy cards you can do that like with warriors and uh enrages too which is which is always fun okay i think i will remove a detection and then I don't know, I think the rest is fine. I'm trying to think if there's like anything I'm really missing. I guess uh one thing um that could be important is a mass dispel. Let's grab that just in case and then we can be on our way, I think. Um, so I think I'm going to be taking this middle path to the Jade Chest. I think Jade Chest is just like pretty valuable if you get over here and get to open it. So um, there's also the top path with uh, the Forge and then there's the Lost Merchant, but we don't have a ton of gold, so... I think just, uh, I think the chest makes the most sense. <laughs> Let's, uh, try to kill this oddball fellow as soon as we can i guess hmm. yeah there's a chance we could citadel early we would need to draw our blood rage but Mm -hmm. Ah, we missed it. Oh, well, we get to safeguard Amelia, which is pretty nice. Okay. This is, uh, quite the turn here. Ok, 
Okay, that's pretty sweet. I don't think we need the fanaticism there. No. Our deck collect is not very expensive, so. Bum, bum, bum. Do you think it's funny how much damage that deals? <laughs> um, do we have. Yeah, we have mostly enough of the. Um, we're just yeah, missing one powerful, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, fire carp really doing work here. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll take a sanctuary. Um, I suppose we'll take another, an upgraded evocation. Not 100% sure on that one, but it's pretty cool. Let's go south and fight the, the black constructs, because that's the key that we have. I do think black constructs are harder by a fair margin than the white ones. Mm -hmm. I guess I can maybe do this. Uh, sure. Yeah, having Heiner go before them seems decent. <laughs> okay. Uh, these guys are much less scary when you have a bunch of block because it's damage with hit, so. Basically, only deals damage if you, they hit you, and the block helps prevent that. <laughs> mm. I guess we'll target there, and then um, the uh, the scrolls' damage isn't transformed, um, as you'll as you can tell here. Um, so it won't uh, be dealing as much damage while we uh, when we don't have a ton of bless up. It won't be dealing as much damage. But once you get the bless up, it'll actually chunk pretty hard. Um. <laughs> Let's see. What do I actually need? I guess we can do that. The mana gem is probably the best of the mana options, so I'll keep that one and get rid of the rest. Yeah, see here, each spell now is dealing like 40 damage. Pretty, pretty busted. And that's only with like 15 blasts. If we have max blasts, it'll, it'll spike up to quite a lot. Um, I don't think we need any of those. Okay, we get to use the key and come here. Okay, this fight is a little scary. Um, basically, this Stefan guy is a real jerk. So, I think what I'm going to do here is actually 
I'm gonna speed up Amalia. Um, because I really don't want uh, her to go and just get uh, silenced when Stefan takes his turn. So it would be helpful here to be able to at least get some damage out and uh, before he uses Silencing Aura. Um, it's actually a little bit unfortunate that Heiner is going... Now, but I guess there's a uh, not a ton you can do about that. Um, I was uh, the one thing you want you want Heiner to go after, since uh, he can laser off a bunch of the silencing aura if he draws his uh, heat lasers. But we could maybe do that next turn. Oh, uh... Hmm. I maybe could have played that a little bit different, but... Hmm. I... I'm... Oof. I don't really know if there's... Yeah, it's kind of rough, because uh, basically, Amelia is going to get silenced here. So I guess we just need to hopefully find a mass dispel here and use that to help her out. But Oh, I guess, uh, oh, no, we silenced ourselves. Um, we could have, um, we could have sped up Heiner, and then he might have been able to, uh, let us, uh, deal some damage, but... <laughs> By lasering off all the Auras, but... Maybe he can laser this turn and get some of it. Mage carries do run into issues against uh, Steven. Stefan. Okay. Okay. So, hmm. I guess, uh, um, okay, so now. Everyone except for this guy has it removed, so... If we can just not... If we can not proc him, then I think that'll be good for us. Um... <laughs> Okay, good. Not attacking him was was very good for us. Um, oof. Okay, so we gotta target there, and then we do the last one. So we did get silence on the last section, and Heiner is unfortunately dead here, but he did die, and uh, we are slightly safer than we were before. I guess it's 
A little sketchy here, but... Oh, oh, mm. I guess I needed to... I needed to double uh, dispel Amelia. It's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, because. Yeah, because now we basically can't do anything this turn. Like, Otis would have... Oh, well, I guess Otis gets another turn here. Okay, we did find another Dispel. Perfect. Okay. This is a complicated fight, but I think... Uh, I think this should do it. There we go. Took a bit of doing, but we, we made it. Book of Nightmares isn't the worst card. If it were upgraded, I guess we could maybe upgrade it. The upgraded version is pretty sweet, like this blue one. The three nightmares into your hand for two. It's sort of like a recurring nightmare that's a one-shot that is a little bit better. But we'll, we'll skip it for now. Okay, we search for as much treasure as we can. Oh. Interesting. Um, Mirror Cassandra, like, isn't very good on Amalia. Um, most of her stuff is pretty cheap. It's, like, pretty good with Electrocute, but that's the only one. Um, and she has the Clairvoyant Scroll, so I'm not sure. I don't think I really want to replace that. So I think I am just going to use it on Heiner. It's pretty, pretty awesome on Heiner. Um, definitely pretty sweet there. Um... And then I think we just skip on Otis. Dark Hood's kind of interesting. It would have been nice to have like the stealth charges. Maybe I should like bring a stealth charge on Amalia. It's probably worth doing. It's just one cost, so we could definitely like get rid of this initial shard and put it in the stealth and probably be fine. Um, yeah, let's try it out. You're getting two stealth at the beginning of every turn. That's like plus 40 damage on 40% damage on like a recurring nightmare or an electrocute or something. It should be fine. Um, dark one, not really all that important. I don't think really we're taking anything here. Um, okay, what do we want to fight more? I think this bottom path is probably a little bit better. And we can get the, um, curse, uh, this, uh, injury out of Heiner's deck. hmm <laughs> And I know, like, <laughs> there's so many runs where it's like, ooh, the dark one would be amazing. And you, uh, you never see it in those runs. Um, I don't know. These hands, these decks are probably fine.
Okay. Guess we can do that. All right, let's so turn one citadel. I don't mind I'm doing that. Seems pretty good. So, yeah, Amelia's turn one looks pretty good there. All right. We've got that going for us. Already forgot about the mirror. <laughs> Heiner over here with just all, all of this fury. Look at him go. <laughs> hey, dragon. We are still at it. We are at the final fight before... Um, the twins fight. So... Things have been going pretty well. We did have Hainu die in a fight, but it's all looking good at this point. <laughs> do you have the Hellblade item in any of your ears? I don't. Um, I do love that item, though. Um, we took the path to go get the wall instead. Um, the nice thing, what we do have, though, is uh, Corrupted Asmodi which uh, does um, a bunch of mark on everyone every turn. Um, okay, I'm actually... Let's speed boost Otis here. Um, and so, yeah, I think... Uh, one thing, I, I do love Hellblade with Corrupted Dismody. That's a pretty busted combo. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the wall. That's where you get the wall. Um, I think it's a. It's an item I. I. In my Heiner runs, I have a hard time not going and getting the wall. It just like makes your your team feel super safe. Mm -hmm. It's hard to kill this little ball thing when it has these on him. So maybe we just shoot this guy. Yeah, exactly. Like if I'm, if I'm bringing a defensive Otis, I just I want to get the the gloves on him as often as possible. It just feels so good. Ooh, last stand is pretty cool. Maybe I should have uh, not actually drawn. Ah, this is quite the Heiner turn here. Okay. <laughs> Fusion laser is so good. Wow, he just died from repose. That, like, never happens. <laughs> hmm. 
There we go. Okay, let's skip those, skip those, skip that, skip that. Um, I think we can just fight them. Hmm. You have to be a little bit careful in this fight to not let Heiner just die turn one, but if he at all gets to um, like use some defensive cards, then it's usually fine. I'm actually going to just leave this stuff. I guess I'll do that, but... Hmm. Uh, Otis, I uh, probably could have changed Otis's stuff a little bit, but... Okay. <laughs> what an insane turn one there from Miner. <laughs> Just bonkers. Actually, I'm not going to pump it right now. I think we want to save some of that energy. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh... Is it quite quite nice there? Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Mirror is all right. You. <laughs> this is it's just guys. It's just okay. It's nothing special. <laughs> That was so good, though. Holy crap. Uh, let's get rid of this evocation and... I don't know, maybe both evocations? Um, probably don't need those right now. So we can keep a steel forge in the deck. That seems good. <laughs> okay, this is one of those unique turns where they do not have um do not have stuff uh, up right now. Like near neither of them has a. Uh, stuff going. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we draw. See what we draw. We'll double bubble an anthem. Yeah, yeah, mirror with enchantments is one of my favorite things to do with it. Um, like uh, using mirror infusion laser is just so good. Mm -hmm. 
I don't really know. We are healing them up quite a lot, but... I honestly, like, don't really care about hitting the dusk. Oh, well, maybe I should have. Heinrich's now, like, dying. Okay. Now uh, he gets to he gets to go before this guy goes, so I think we're we're chill on that. Okay, that is a lot of blast to give. <laughs> yeah, definitely a must-pick item. Like, I, I don't think I've ever not taken a, a mirror. It's, like, just so good. <laughs> okay, so let's um I like uh letting him go. Well actually, no, we should Speed boost these two, I think. Um, and then... Bum, bum, bum. Oh yeah, yeah, Divine Blessing is... Just a stellar card. But, uh, it always just feels uh, quite nice. Oh dang, Amelia's now got got slowed, so now this guy has a uh, stuff again. Yeah, we don't really have a way to do it, but Amelia's now like. Just crushing it on damage, so... I think we are, uh... <laughs> just, uh, ending it right here very easily. Oh, wow, I didn't, he wasn't even looking at Otis. <laughs> he went to two! What even happened? <laughs> I was not paying any attention. Oh, that's funny. Um... Well, yeah, the, the <laughs> it's getting late, guys. I'm I'm quite tired. Um, vampiric tutor, master spell, or de demonic tutor and master spell. I don't think we're taking of uh, energizing serenade. Nah, that's a cool card. I'll try it out. I don't know that it's going to happen very often, but when it does, it's sweet. Um, Demonic Tutor for Sanctuary is nice. Master Spell is upgraded, though, so that's kind of cool. Mm, we'll take a Demonic Tutor. Okay, Tireless, very good. Extra energy is awesome. Um, Dome of Light is just amazing on Otis. Um, I don't know the Time Paradox is like... All that needed, so I think I will just take Unlimited Blades. And then Mark for Death. Ooh. Uh. OK. 
Okay. Man, Nether Blade is so good. <laughs> it is busted. Um, I don't think I can take it over Volcanic Axe, but it is pretty insane. Um, it does make everything just hit super hard. Um, maybe it is worth taking over it. I'm not... Hmm. No, because then we, we miss out on the extra damage from the fortify and I th think that is enough that I will skip out on it but nullifier is obviously awesome nullifier is sick very good for us um let's take a look at these fights um yeah, we can go up top path. Oh, this is like the perfect one. Pacifism like really doesn't matter to us, and uh, getting a rare shop is awesome when we have like four thousand gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Um, okay. Well, let's. Uh... Guess we can do that and then see what we find. Um, I do want to use a draw this, or I do want to use a chant this turn, so let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's double up one of these again. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> I... I don't know that I've ever had 10 mitigate on all of my heroes on turn 1 before. <laughs> That's a, I think that might be a first for me. That's, a, that's quite something else. <laughs> and we get to kill this dark angel before they get to take a turn. Oh my goodness. This run, this run really has it all. We've had close fights where our carry literally went to one day one health. <laughs> and uh, we've had uh, pretty glorious uh, victories. <laughs> Boom, get him. So, let's uh, skip, skip. Is that good? Yeah, that's probably good. Ooh. Um. Uh... 
Sapphire Ring is an interesting one. I don't know who it's best on. I do want it. I, I think it's probably Amelia. But Heiner, like, it's pretty good. I, I guess Heiner, we don't get as much value. I think, yeah, let's, let's grab it on Amelia. And then I guess we can upgrade the heart amulet to a life essence. It's probably fine. <laughs> Repair armors are not as important in these last fights, so I'll take those out. I think keeping one in is fine. That's just a nice way to give reinforce, but like I think most of the time it's not going to matter. Um, this unstable power might want to come out, but I don't know. I don't know how often Otis is actually going to max out her powerful like on every turn. So I guess we can hold on that for a little bit and see. Um, do I want to take out a detection? Um, no, it's probably fine. You know what? Our decks are perfect. Um, a 47% chance. I think we just use the altar as is. Um, no, I think the we need the Ember Storms to stay in the deck. Um, if we uh, if these vanish, then um, in our final fights, we don't really have any way to it, like our only ways of actually getting more um, of the um, spell sword charges is like with recurring nightmare and electrocute and we're drawing a ton of cards and so i think in general um it's going to be good to have the ember storm stick in the decks um i will upgrade this recurring nightmare though i think um i think i want this evocation to be this version um uh, are there any other things we want to change energizing serenade yeah yeah you want to be careful i remember some of the first times i played her i had decks where i just like didn't have enough ways to proc spell sword at the end of the game and so I, i'm usually pretty careful about it like and uh um like at the end of the at the end of the run so yeah let's do that why not um and then here i guess yeah nine cost citadel is probably better and then i don't know i might just uh upgrade these so they deal one more damage i don't <laughs> i don't know that anything else really matters so, yeah, there we go. Oh, I guess I could have upgraded a find weakness. That probably was a little bit better, but... Okay, well, let's hope Upwind doesn't kill us. <laughs> it definitely could. Upwind is a scary... is a scary thing to take. Basically... Letting their whole team go before our team takes a turn. 
uh, as you can see, is a dangerous game. <laughs> oh no, probably should have saved before I did that, but what can you do? <laughs> um Okay. Oh, I guess I should have played this as Citadel. Just walk it off, it'll be fine. <laughs> um Hey, they played a Citadel 2. That's not fair. Um, I guess we can just max this out. Okay. Um, does this actually make any difference? Uh, Heiner goes eight fa or is becomes eight faster, but not quite enough to be faster than the Dark Monk. Um. <laughs> the Ember Storm. Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite there. Um. Oh yeah, like uh, that that corruptor is <laughs> I think kills a lot more than it seems like it should. <laughs> but uh Um we are somehow still alive. Oh, I guess I probably should have Played a double in trench instead of what I did. But maybe the fusion laser. Maybe that's enough damage. Okay. Well, we are, we're still here somehow. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, Amalia does have quite a lot of block. And there might be a way to play this. Ooh, I don't like that. Uh oh, the quite a lot of block is gonna murder her now. <laughs> um, okay, I will reroll this one time right now and uh, see if there's anything we can do. Obviously, Otis is dead. He, he dies before his turn. I guess I should have looked, too. I guess, like, knowing that there's a Dark Knight and a Dark Monk, it's, like, pretty likely that, uh... uh I don't know, pretty likely. They don't always desecrate turn one, so... If he doesn't desecrate turn one, I think we're fine, but... Okay, so I think we do this. This is very good. 
Um, I guess we could do this and then maybe this. Okay, this is much better. We got two of those. Okay. So now we have the full mitigate set up on turn one. Um, maybe we need to go after the Dark Monk. <laughs> um, hmm. I wonder if we just need to find the Steel Forge, actually. Well, yeah, maybe if we find Steel Forge. This one's actually kind of good. Um, hmm. Unstable power is actually pretty good. We don't need the mana gem. Guess we can see what we draw here. Get rid of that one, and maybe stick like that. Okay, Lava Bomb, not too bad. Okay. So, um, hmm, might have been able to dig deeper for Steel Forge. Uh, I guess this Ice Palace will do a good job of, uh, oh, I need to use this first. Whoops. Okay, this is looking better. We're all we are still in a very precarious spot here um, Because uh, we don't We don't really have a good way of dispelling we have this one healing serenade which we can play next turn but uh, if like if any more bleed gets put on Amalia, like we, it gets kind of scary because we're basically on like a two turn clock, but. Um... Okay. I think we need to use improved lasers a couple of times. go. <laughs> I'm like astounded that this is somehow looking like it's going to work. <laughs> we could, could be in a little bit of trouble, but I think
Yeah, so let's do this. And then we get to attack, draw, and uh, make Amalia quicker than... I like to switch between Amalia and Amelia. <laughs> it's probably like... Amelia? I don't know. And I can never remember. Okay. There we go. Plenty of health on everyone for the final boss fights. <laughs> Ooh, last reward is sweet. Sort of lets you curate your deck for the final fights if, if they start going long. Curse of Nomicon's kind of cool, too. And we're going to open up the shop and it's going to have nothing. So... <laughs> Um, do I want a Curse Onomicon? Zero cost spells. Zero cost curses can be kind of good. Let's try it out. Let's 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 do it. We've seen so many Archmage books. <laughs> Um, we could, we could turn, uh, Amalia into a destroyer gauntlet scary. <laughs> Doesn't seem very good. Um, it's not like that bad because the fortify still increases the damage, but, uh, it's, it's not great. Um, we could take an Archmage book on, uh, Andrin. Maybe that's worth it. Defiler? Not, not a very good card. <laughs> it just, like, never really does much. So, currently, we have Twin Blades, which gives one draw a turn when we draw either a Slice or an Exposed Armor. The other one would give us a draw when we play Chance, which... We could get two draw a turn, though, when we play the chance. I'm not sure if that's any better. Um, I guess we can do that. Why not? Okay. Um... We go through the final fights with uh, Otis with a death door in his deck. Or do we he and like heal? Um hmm. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try removing the death door. It's kind of sketchy because we are quite low, but uh, as long as we, like, have a decent opening, we'll be fine. I'm actually going to remove this evocation. I don't think we actually need that. Mm -mm. Okay, that seems fine. Do do do. Amalia gets her due, and uh, yeah, here we go. Let's uh, let's maybe have Otis give Otis a good opening. <laughs> Oof. That was very close. Um, okay. 
Okay. Uh... Hey Otis, let's uh see what you can do here. Okay, sanctuary, very good. Let's use this, double bubble, sanctuary, sanctuary, prayer of protection, and uh I would say that's quite a good first turn. <laughs> that was uh that was pretty sick. Um, good morning, Tormond. Happy Easter to you, too. Um, oh, you just barely woke up. Uh, I was like, what is Grada Alfgestan in me? Uh, now I, now I remember. Um, yeah, it is late. It's like two in the morning for me. So, um, we are uh, nearing the end of the line for the stream tonight. Um, but it's been a good one. So, hopefully, you have a, a good Easter yourself. <laughs> Do, do, do. Our pets, no. We love our pets. They are now gone. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Oh, I guess we can basically guarantee the that one. Bum 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 ba dum bum. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like uh I I am definitely near near the end of uh, my ability to <laughs> play the game in a uh, logical way. I've made some pretty uh, amusing decisions at the end of this run. Oh wait, do I have? Oh, the energizing serenade is. Still down there. Hmm. Uh, let's get rid of a trace. That's fine. Yeah. I guess those are kind of fine. I don't know. It seems okay. Ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -da -dum -da 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 Oh, we can play that Energizing Serenade next turn. Look at us with the setup. <laughs> okay, let's double up a citadel, probably. Well, 
Man, we are one off of uh, Citadel and Fusion Laser. I guess I could just Fusion Laser and then play some of these. Um, and then, like, use another Fusion Laser for next turn. Seems kind of good. Your run will go down the drain. No, Tormund. The uh, it's always rough when like uh, whenever I like come back to a run. Um, if I uh, like have been playing before, and uh, I come back to it, it's always like so hard for me to like get back into it. I have to remember what I was actually doing. <laughs> I really wish they changed the pet kill thing. It's just like, uh, I feel like it's too early. It's just like so rare that you actually get to keep your pets. Or maybe like, uh, I've, I remember discussing it with people, like maybe the pets could be... Um, would like stick around if you um like yeah maybe the pets stick around if you if they're corrupted like uh, Harley does um something like that I don't know some way of like keeping your pets alive just because. I just want there to be a way. <laughs> Each spell then dealing an extra 150 damage from uh, this clairvoyant scroll kind of shows you why I love it so much. <laughs> Hey, Scroll of Resurrection saves some slash all pets? Is that a thing? Is that real? <laughs> what? <laughs> Scroll? When you die, Resurrection? Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's what you're saying. Um, you feel like it should. Yes, that would be awesome. Like, I think that I never take Scroll of Resurrection. I would take it and, like, bring it along to save my pets in the final fight. Like, if it said, like, uh, it also, like, saves your, if you have this, it saves your pets. That'd be so good. That's, like, a nice flavor win, too. Um, very much, I, I like that idea a lot. Um... I guess I can put this back. I can't actually play it next turn, so maybe I shouldn't. Hmm. <laughs> okay. If this is slow, I'm a little bit. Oh, uh. Yes, we're doing this. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Look at him go. Late game. Um, let's slow this guy. Seems good. And then Andrin will slow him a little bit more on his turn. We'll slow him a little bit here with Amalia. 
<laughs> don't know that we... Oh, wait, no, we weren't going to slow him because we don't have our pets anymore. No! The pets. Uh, sure, we'll throw that at him. I guess we'll get rid of those. Hmm. Is there... Yeah, unfortunately this uh this guy gets a turn. This fight is so much harder when he when he gets a turn here. Just cuz uh removes all your draw, removes a bunch of your energy. It's quite annoying. <laughs> mm, I guess we'll double Anthem. I think the extra blast and the draw is nice, so let's do that. Keep up on the doom. Because, uh, I prefer not to just die here at the end of their run. Um, can we actually kill this guy with Andrin? It's looking unlikely, but I guess we can try. Um, he has another slice in there. I don't think that there's any way of... Oh, nice. I think a slice is enough, right? He's going to 52. How much did our last slice do? Combat log. Our slice did 50 damage to him. But added six mark. So I think that does it. I guess we can also just find weakness him. Oh, I guess we can see. Yeah, that is enough. And then we can find weakness over there. Hey, Z, 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 Z. I've been watching your vids and always looking forward to seeing what I'm cooking up. Hey, glad to have you here. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. And, uh, yeah, nice to have you here. I'm getting close to the end of this one, but I'll be streaming again tomorrow for a bit. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, are there any uh, comps that you've enjoyed watching? Anything... Uh, any characters that you really enjoy, ZZZ? Uh, we can grab a Citadel. Or we can just double Safeguard. I think double Safeguard is actually maybe better. Oh, that's like a lot of draw. Uh, probably don't need that much draw. Um. <laughs> Kind of weird here. <laughs> oh, we don't have enough for it. No. Oh, we aren't even in stanza, so it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Uh, okay. Mm 
Um, you like dark comps, and Gustav carry the most. Dude, the self burn lion core runs are some of my favorite I've done in a long time. They are just so fun to do. Um, but I totally agree with you. I think G Gustav Carey is like so fun. That guy really uh, just does it all. <laughs> Guess we get to just add some bless, which is nice. <laughs> um. I guess I'm gonna swap this around a little bit to deal a bit more damage. We we basically want to end with zero spell sword. So if I had done that better, we could have done a little bit more. But <laughs> okay, we have like quite a lot of uh, doom here. I think we can. Take a quick detour. Yeah, I think we can take a turn off. Maybe, maybe that's bad, but I, th I think we'll be okay. Okay, so not a ton of good stuff in there. So I guess I'm just going to double up on this so that we can Citadel. Oh, I guess, hmm. Maybe I didn't want to have her go first. He currently has a bunch of fire resist that would have been good to get rid of. It would have been good to just let him go, uh, take his turn, and then the fire resist is gone, and we um, get to deal a bunch more, like a, a bit more damage. I'm not sure how much more, but... Yeah, it would have been quite a lot more, but we should kill him this next turn anyway, so. This is a fun run, though. I, I really like uh, this comp. I think it's a lot of fun. I think uh, Amelia is just, like, a sick character. You get to play her in a ton of different ways, and uh, a lot of fun ways, so. Oh, wait, am I? No, I'm not. Not quite in stanza. It's fine, though. This seemed like a good way of going about it. Okay. Can we kill him this turn? Ah, uh, we got very close. Not quite there, though. <laughs> oh, look at the Vitalizing Serenade. Um... Ah, oh, we don't need that. And he gets to change back out of his annoying evasion mode. 
thank you for everyone who's tuned in tonight. Enjoyed ch chatting with people. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just had a good time overall, all around. Um, <laughs> end it with a recurring nightmare. Boom, boom, boom. It's a fun setup. Um, I think that, uh, we had a number of deaths, but it, it uh, all ended up working out. Let's see. Past games. Um, yeah. Amalia just did tons of damage. I think uh, she just... Oh, I totally forgot I had Dark Hood that whole time. It could have been <laughs> maybe dealing a bit more damage if I had remembered. Um... Yeah, fun run. I think it, uh, we had some cool items too. Mirror of Cassandra is so fun to play with. Uh, Nullifier is great. Um, Clairvoyant Scrolls, amazing. And, uh, we just had a cool Otis build. Um, the, uh, yeah, he, he definitely needs some naps. Um, we also picked up, uh, two Anthem of Hopes, which is awesome. I love when that happens. Um, we had uh, an extra pair of protection, some sanctuaries. Uh, we picked up a bunch of Ember Storms, so we got three extra of these, which I think always makes the run feel a lot better. Um, the Ember Storm is just like such a busted card um, for for this setup, and uh, really helps when you get those. It would have been nice to find like another recurring nightmare, um, something like that. But I mean, we didn't we didn't need it, so it's uh, it all worked out. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy my content, you can always subscribe on, um, YouTube. You can follow me on Twitch. Um, I have a, uh, membership page on YouTube that you can join if you want to support me more. And, uh, you can also subscribe on Twitch with, uh, Twitch Prime or, uh, just normal subscriptions. Anything helps. But, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for a little bit more, uh, another run. Um, we have, uh, some fun stuff cooked up for that. We're going to be doing a run where, um, this is, this is the one. So, basically, we're trying to set up a run where, uh, our characters are not, rel or, uh, da, 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 da. where is the card? Um, this spell, do, 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 do. um, yeah, Tabula Rasa. So the goal is to make Tabula Rasa good. And so we have a uh, modified version of the game that makes it so that Tabula Rasa is the, um, corruption event for all corruption events. The one, the wins one where it makes it so the enemies have Tabula Rasa and they're like, that they play that every time. So we have a setup where this is, we're hoping to make this good. Now, um, that's cool, but then the boss fights are also kind of rough because they we don't have Tabula Rasa going, which would be very helpful for us. Um, some of the stuff we're doing to make this effective is we have these so that Reinforce can't be purged. Um, all of our uh, people have those. We also have uh, Fortify can't be purged and uh, Sharp can't be purged. Um, which makes it so that, uh, the, a lot of the buffs we care about, uh, can't be purged. And so then the Tabula Rasa is like just really good for us because it gets rid of all the stuff they're trying to do to us and, uh, the stuff that we care about, the sharp, the, um, fortify and all that is sticking around. We have a Navalia here to be our tank. We have a Gustav carry, we have Nezglek dealing uh, damage with, uh, oh yeah, we also have, uh, um, sight can't be dispelled, right, unless specified. 
And so you get to uh, do some pretty sweet stuff with it. Um, so yeah, we'll be playing that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in and uh, check back in tomorrow if you have some time. And otherwise, have a great, have a great night and a great Easter. <laughs>